the only thing I get from MLS is stop criticizing the referees. I want to know where the referees are right now. Why can't we ask the referee a question? Why can't we do that? Why can't we ask, why didn't you go to VAR? Why didn't you call that? Why, when the studs are coming up, you just give a yellow card? That would make them more human. It would be better, to MLS, it would be better for this league, for the fans, for the owners, for the coaches, for the players, to hear from them and to hear their side of the story. And perhaps then we say, okay, I see it. Maybe it happened a little fast. You know, maybe the guy in the booth, wherever the hell he is watching this, you know, maybe he was watching The Simpsons at the same time. I don't know. I have no idea. But it's not good enough to me. And I'll take the fine. Jeff Agus, find me. Find me. I don't care anymore. You know, nobody else, no other coach in this league steps up a little more than they should. I'm going to. So drain my bank account. I don't give a <laughs> anymore. Okay? <laughs> Does mm. he have a point? First of all, it must have felt really good to get off this, mm. to get this thing off his chest, because it's what every other coach wants to say. But they don't want to say it because of what the message by MLS has been: is yeah. like, don't criticize the referee well, and the fine, and the fine that is coming, and you know it's coming. And hopefully, for his sake, the team is behind him and the ownership is behind him, and they're willing to cover the fine. He has a point in in, in general terms as to. Why are the referees not available to explain themselves and say, okay, look, this is what happened. This is the decision we made. We can't change what happened on the field. We can't change the outcome. But at the very least, you have get an explanation. Perhaps you're not going to be happy with the explanation. But Maybe you, you're you, not going to you, appreciate it. You can't it. behave like that. If you're the manager, the coach of the team, how can you ever say to your players, be disciplined, don't argue with decision, get on with the game, when your coach is kicking water bottles, you're kicking chairs and acting like that after the game? That's a disgrace from a manager. I'm sorry. Stewie. No matter what went on, no. that's a disgrace no, no. from the manager. No, Stewie. Stewie. As a manager, as a a manager, as a manager, you can't do that. No, well, you're gonna care what I have to say because I respect what you just have to say. (laughs) Okay, you can't say it's a no, 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 no. no. Don't make this about me. It's Mike Becky who said something, and I'm defending his position because this is what every manager wants to say, and he is gonna be fined for it, and he's gonna be reprimanded for it. Mm. The truth of the matter is that these mistakes have to stop. At some point, they have to stop. And somebody has to bring attention to it. But that's his decision. That's his well, opinion that it's a mistake. Do you, I don't think it's a sending off to start what, with. But, I don't think, I okay. think it's a yellow card when the and I think, and the I think you're wrong. I don't think it's a foul when the bloke goes through Fine. and scores. And I think so you're wrong. And like I think that. you're wrong. And I'm respecting your opinion mm. for it. And I'm but, respecting yours. No, I don't think you are, to be quite <laughs> honest with you. Because I'm, I'm saying I that he, even finished, Mike I haven't even cannot, finished, cannot behave like that. I haven't even finished saying what I'm, what I'm saying and you already jumping on mm. and having your own opinion on it, which is fine. He has an opinion on it and he's mm. going to be reprimanded for it and he's going to be fined mm. for it. But the truth is, is that mm. mistakes in MLS refereeing happen more than they should. And when you have a system in place like VAR, this mistake should not more happen. More than any other league? More mistakes than any other league? Well, you don't know that. Well, I, do. I don't see a lot of MLS okay. games. I don't okay. think there's any more exactly. mistakes than Bundesliga exactly. got, or any more mistakes exactly. in the Premier League. You just said it. You don't see enough of MLS. No, and I said I do MLS. That's what I just said. You didn't hear me properly. I said I do MLS, so I see the games. I don't think there's any more mistakes in MLS. In fact, I would okay. say they use VAR better than any other league in the world at the and moment. And maybe so. Maybe so, Stewie. All I'm, all I'm suggesting is that in this game, based upon what mm. we saw, I agree with his position. Mm. Now, do I agree with the behavior? Perhaps not. And I just said he will get reprimanded mm. for it and he will get punished for it. And that's on him. He's going to take the mm. fine. Yes, the, is the behavior okay by a manager? Perhaps not. But the sentiment and which is the initial thing that I said, mm. that the bigger picture I agree with. That's a... That's you, you, a no, 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 no. he should behave like that? Can I finish? <laughs> you just said it. No. Can, can you behave... Can you accept that that's normal no. behavior? No. I, didn't I just tell you that, it's, that I'm, I'm accepting the fact that he's going to get punished and reprimanded for it, and that's fine? Mm. What I'm suggesting is that the bigger picture, which is the first thing I said, Stu, if you were listening to me... I was listening the, to you. The bigger picture, I agree with the message that if you have a system in place in VAR, mm-hmm. then use it, use it, use it. Mm-hmm. Go watch, go see the video. So when somebody comes, starts up mid-shin, mm-hmm. go and look at it because you have the system in place. That's all I'm saying. I don't care whether but he's somebody's, yet. Somebody's looking at it and they obviously said to him, we don't think it's a, a red card. And that's why he's upset. But you, if, you're, if I'm the owner of that football club and I see him behave like that, I'll be having him in my office and say, you, you just can't do that. You cannot behave and bring the game into disrepute like that. You might have your own thoughts. You might say it behind closed doors, but you can't say it on the TV. Well, and I'm sure that he has tried behind having those conversations behind closed doors with people from MLS, with Jeff Hagos, who he just mentioned there, 
and nothing has changed in his mind. And so at some point, you get a reaction from him. I don't mind a reaction from a manager every once in a while. It can't happen every weekend, but I don't mind it that he comes out and says, look, there are mistakes that are happening. Let's make it better. Not only for me and my team. Let's make it better for the players, for the coaches, for Major League Soccer. Let's all grow together. In his message, he's saying that as well. A league becomes better when it's transparent. He's asking for that transparency, and I cannot disagree with him.